Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes as we look ahead to a warm front coming through tonight. That's probably going to produce uh, heavy rain, thunderstorms, and we have severe weather issues in uh, a good chunk of the eastern U.S. That will be all talked about tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, and that's at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So this uh, summer, we've seen this happen a few times where we've had these warm fronts that have uh, moved northward and they've sort of the, the way of transitioning out of one air mass to another uh, it's also the mechanism that ultimately gets us a dew points to climb up into the 70s and we see those 70 dew points to the south in virginia west virginia down into the carolinas and georgia and at least for the set for the rest of the afternoon and evening there is some severe weather risk in parts of the southern appalachians we'll get to that in a moment but this warm front will be moving northeastward and we've had cases here uh, this summer where we've seen some hefty thunderstorms when those warm fronts go by, along with uh, a couple of severe thunderstorms in the mix and heavy rains. And I think we have to uh, expect that to happen tonight as low pressure now in eastern Iowa moves east across the lower lakes and eventually finds its way up into southeastern Canada for tomorrow. And uh, you notice on the satellite loop, uh, that uh, signature rotation from a strong upper air system that is now centered in Iowa. It's moving eastward. We've had in and out clouds so far today, but the heavier overcast is beginning to approach, uh, as is some of the rain. And you're also starting to see some lightning strikes showing up to our south. Uh, so that's a sign that the system uh, is uh, starting to rev up a little bit. And uh, here's the radar view as of uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. You see this area of rain in Ohio and back into western Pennsylvania, the western half of the state. Showers and thunderstorms breaking out over parts of Virginia and North Carolina uh, and even a couple of cells up in northwest Georgia. Uh, so this area is likely to expand, and then we're going to add it to it a little bit of punch from some of that severe weather that's to the south for the overnight period. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather uh, tonight uh, in, from central New Jersey southward uh, and also westward across Virginia and West Virginia, south and west from there into Tennessee and northern Alabama. Marginal risk makes it up to southern Connecticut, the lower Hudson Valley, just about to the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York state border, and then goes west from there uh, back into the lower lakes. Now, this comes with a 2 to 5% tornado risk. There's a 5% tornado risk uh, being indicated for south central and southeastern Pennsylvania, the southern half of New Jersey, and down into Delaware, and much of eastern and central Maryland. It's 2% uh, for northern New Jersey, Long Island, and the lower Hudson Valley into southern Connecticut and then back across Pennsylvania into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. So uh, that would not be a shocker if we wind up with uh, a few uh, spin-ups, uh, as I like to call them, during the uh, overnight period. And uh, these warm fronts can take rainfall amounts that might in general be a half to three quarters of an inch or three quarters of an inch to an inch. And you wind up getting double that or more in some localities. So the Weather Prediction Center has got a very large area of slight risk for flash flooding, 15 to 40 percent chance for some localized flash flooding from the southern Appalachians northeastward uh, through Maryland, Delaware, all of New Jersey, um, much of the Hudson Valley and the Catskills and then back over to Long Island, tails off to a marginal risk a little bit further north, and also to the west across the Ohio Valley. Another slight risk area, southern Wisconsin, northwestern Illinois, and then over into southern Michigan and northernmost Indiana and Ohio. So you can see the rainfall amounts are generally around half an inch to an inch, the purple being indicated some areas of up to an inch and a half or more. So again, locally take those amounts uh, with the convective nature of all of this and just double them up and uh, that's where uh, we're we're going to that that's what we're thinking here in terms of the overnight um, forecast. Now, uh, to, here's what the HRRR is doing, and you can see here the expanding area of rain. Uh, there's some embedded thunderstorms in there. And again, when you deal with these things, as far as the thunderstorms are concerned, not everybody gets into them. You see, there's spacing between these storms, so. Uh, you know, a lot of folks like to complain that the forecast thunderstorms, well, you didn't get it. And I'm just like, okay, well, that's not something to be sad about. 
but uh, they do seem to get concentrated a bit. This is at uh, 1 a.m. So a lot of what's going to happen across eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England is going to happen during the overnight hours. Uh, and here, here we are at 3 a.m. when we see a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity and heavy downpours moving across northern New Jersey, New York City, and Long Island, and then eventually uh, up into New York State and Connecticut, and then starting to shift away into New England. By tomorrow morning at around 7 or 8 o'clock, the bulk of this is going to be done and the warm front will be by, then we have to wait for a cold front that's going to be moving through uh, later on tomorrow. So I'm going to go back to the Storm Prediction Center's forecast. For This is for Tuesday now. And for Tuesday, they have a marginal risk for southern and southeastern New England, the lower Hudson Valley, Long Island, New York City, but almost all of New Jersey, a small portion of southeastern Pennsylvania. And then we go to a slight risk in southeast Jersey, the southern part of the Delmarva Peninsula into southeast Virginia and much of eastern and central North Carolina. And that also comes with tornado risk, a 2% tornado risk. One area in southeast Virginia, uh, the lower Delmarva Peninsula in northeastern North Carolina, and the other area in southeastern New York, Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and into southeastern Massachusetts. So that's with the cold front that's going to be coming through tomorrow. And the extent of those thunderstorms really is going to depend on the timing of that front. It looks like it's it's almost on top of the coast around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, the development of the storms may actually wind up being stronger further east rather than to the west. Uh, and you see how the GFS at 2 o'clock starts to show a line of storms from southeastern Pennsylvania down into western North Carolina. And then it really blows them up by the time we get to the evening hours. But by then, if you're north and west of the coast, you don't have much to worry about. And also, notice the big cells in southeastern New Jersey, which goes to SPC's slight risk zone, at least the way they've got it painted. And then after that goes by, we've got Wednesday, which should be an okay day. The front's going to be offshore and not going very far. There's The upper trough will have to go through. There might still be some scattered showers in parts of upstate New York and New England. Thursday is... Uh, now questionable because if that front gets hung up, it looks like it wants to throw back some moisture uh, to the coast during the day Thursday. We'll have to keep our eyes on that. Uh, and then another cold front will sweep through and we will get a shot of dry air for Friday and the start of the weekend. Although I think the latter part of the weekend, we may start to turn very warm to borderline hot and also uh, humid again. So on it goes the month of August. We're getting August type weather. Uh, with uh, some uh, thunderstorm activity uh, to pepper it up a bit. So we'll keep our eyes on things. And again, tonight, the Joe and Joe Weather, weather Show is at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. We hope to see you then.